I'm going to now show you how you can integrate Microsoft Outlook with Microsoft OneNote. And we're going to do that by setting up a meeting in Microsoft Outlook. And here's my little meeting window that I've set up. And we can see here it says meeting about financial position. And I've also included an, an attachment here called customers. And I'm putting my start time and end times in. So we're going to make it for the 16th actually. And now if we go to the top here, um, under the action section, we can see that there's actually an icon for OneNote. And this is actually to link this meeting into OneNote. So if I click that now, immediately Microsoft OneNote is going to open up. And it gives us a little box in it saying pick a section in which to put the meeting notes. So I'm going to pick just anything here just for now. Um, I'm going to pick the Our Vacation notebook here. I'm going to put it under New Section 1 and then click OK. And now Microsoft OneNote is going to open up. And we can see it's put it in New Section 1 here. We're straight into this notebook. And here it is. Here's our meeting. So those, those are the dates that I entered into Outlook. That's the attendees, and we can see it's also brought the attachment across. Now at the bottom here it says link to Outlook items, so if I click that, it takes me straight back to the meeting window that I set up in Outlook. So again, we can do the same thing here by clicking OneNote, and that takes us back into the OneNote window. So at this point I could say, down by the notes here, I could say something like, great meeting, Let's arrange another, for example. So I've entered that note there. So at the top here, I could come up and actually where it says Outlook Tasks, at the end here under the Outlook section, if I click that, I could then click the Today option here. And that puts a little red flag there. So now if I come back into Microsoft Outlook, and I click on tasks. Notice here that it's already created the task that we just set up in Microsoft OneNote. So here it is. Great meeting. Let's arrange another. And now if I actually click this icon here where it says link to task in OneNote We get a little warning message here, but it's okay. We can click open at this point. And there it is. It links us straight back into Microsoft OneNote. I'm going to just switch back again into Outlook. And where it says follow up here, we'll just click it as complete. So we'll mark it as complete. And now we come straight back into OneNote. And now we can see that within OneNote itself, it's put a little tick next to that task that we set up. So not only is it complete in Microsoft Outlook, but OneNote is showing now that it's complete there as well. We can also integrate our Microsoft Outlook email with Microsoft OneNote. So I've come now to my inbox in Microsoft Outlook and I've got a email message here so I could effectively I could just right click it and select OneNote here or I could just open it up here and we can see we have an Excel spreadsheet attached and also a PDF file. So if I come up here now to the move section um, we have the OneNote button here so if I click that Again, it's asking me where I want to put it, so I'm going to select New Section 1, click OK.
and here we go it's in Microsoft OneNote now and here's my attachments from the email the Excel spreadsheet and the PDF tells me who the mails come from who it's sent to and the dates and everything and it's also brought the body of the email into OneNote as well We can also integrate our Microsoft Outlook contacts with OneNote. So if I come down here in Outlook to the contact section and I click that button, here's some of my contacts. So if I open up this one, for example, Joe Rogers, and then if I come up to the top here, in the action section, we can see there's a OneNote button. If I click that, Again, it's asked me where I want to put it. I'm going to select New Section 1 within the OneNote notebook. Click OK. And there it is. It's come straight into OneNote. And I could add some notes here now. So And I've got a link back here to Outlook as well. So if I click this, takes me back to that contact within our Outlook itself. So I could close that down and say in a month's time or something I want to find out what happened to the notes that I created for Joe Rogers. So I could just open up that contact again in Outlook and come up to the action section here and once again click on the OneNote button and here it is. Here's our OneNote page again with the information I entered about the contact at the bottom. We can also email from within OneNote itself. Um, so if we select a particular page that we want to send, so I could, for example, decide to send this one. And if I come up here to the top under the Outlook section, I have something called Email Page. So if I click on that, that's going to send this as HTML. So at the top here we can see it's got our day trips message HTML and I could just put in my recipients here in a normal way and add, add any text that I want to it here and just click the send button and it would go off as an HTML page. 